everyone, welcome to History of the Batman, where we relive the defining moments of one of the most iconic figures in comic book art and literature, the Batman. In light of this month's release of DC Comics' Batman Nightfall Omnibus, in this episode we're going to dive into one of the most important arcs in Batman's history, Batman Nightfall, and how it has affected the Batman mythology in the entire DC Universe. Influenced by the arc The Death of Superman, creators Graham Nolan and Doug Mensch created the character Bane, who was first introduced in Batman Vengeance of Bane from January of 1993. Born and raised in a South American prison, the character was undergoing dangerous experiments using the high-risk steroid Venom, which turned him into the strong man Bane. Once he returned to his home city in Gotham, he learned about the legend, the Batman, and decided that he wanted to prove that he was the ultimate king of Gotham by taking down the city's vigilante. After the introduction of Bane, the series Nightfall began in 1993. The first issue, Batman 492, began the 19-chapter series, spanning over the publications Batman, Detective Comics, and Showcase 93. When Bane breaks out all of the inmates in Arkham Asylum, it is up to Batman and Robin, Tim Drake, to not only bring in each of the members of the rogues gallery one by one, but to also assure that no other Gothamites suffer under the hands of what they believe to be Bane's plan. Batman's mind and body with each villain he puts away back in Arkham Asylum wears on his already broken psyche. Many events led up to this breakdown, such as the death of Jason Todd by the hands of the Joker and Jim Starlin's Batman, a death in the family, the Joker paralyzing Barbara Gordon from the waist down and Alan Moore's The Killing Joke, Batman going up against a new threat to the criminal underground Black Mask and his gang, and also the death of his ally Superman in the Death of Superman arc. Each of these events, trials, and tribulations all show that the Dark Knight questions his own vigilantism in Gotham City. Bane's systematic takedown utilizing the Cape Crusaders rogue gallery led to the climax in Chapter 11 of the 19 chapter series in Batman 497 called The Broken Bat, written by Doug Mensch and illustrated by Kelly Jones, Bob LaRose, and Jim Aparo. Deducing Batman's civilian identity as Bruce Wayne, Bane enters Wayne Manor and brutally beats Batman throughout the Batcave, ending with breaking his back over his knee in the now iconic Jim Apparel panel. As Bruce begins his rehabilitation with Dr. Ken Solving, he asks John Paul Valley, aka Osrael, who has been training under Tim Drake to be a better detective and crime fighter, to take up the mantle as Batman. Despite Bruce's request for John Paul not to fight Bane, Nightfall ends with this ultimate battle with John Paul successfully escaping Bane's clutches with his own modifications to his bat suit. After the Nightfall arc, we follow Bruce Wayne and Alfred Pennyworth going overseas to rescue his physical therapist, and we witness John Paul Valley's Batman in the arc Night Quest. Since Azrael Batman's methods are more violent and lethal than Bruce Wayne's Batman, Batman begins to lose the trust of not only Commissioner Gordon, but the entire GCPD. Once Bruce returns to Gotham and realizes Azrael Batman's instability, he orders John Paul Valley to return the cape and the cowl. When John Paul Valley refuses, there is the ultimate fight in Night's End. In the end, John Paul Valley realizes he's not the one true Batman and is defeated. The Nightfall Saga brought on many changes to the Batman family and the DC Universe as a whole. Dick Grayson became Batman for a brief period of time in the arc Prodigal, as Bruce Wayne began his own rehabilitation, getting back to the Dark Knight that he used to be. Also, in Legends of the Dark Knight, Alfred Pennyworth resigned from the position as his butler because he was worried about Bruce going back into this profession after he was brutally beaten by Bane. You also see arcs following both Azrael and Bane in their search for their true place in Gotham City. The epic Nightfall saga has influenced Batman media for the last 25 years, from television in Batman the Animated Series, to video games in the Batman Arkham Saga, to even film in Christopher Nolan's The Dark Knight Rises, from Bane, portrayed by Tom Hardy, breaking Batman's back, to Alfred's resignation, to even the breakout of Blackgate Prison. There are many reasons why Batman Nightfall is an essential read for Batman fans. 
You get an incredible look at Batman's rogues gallery. You get to witness amazing art and writing from some of Batman's greatest creators, including an amazing art series by Kelly Jones, Bob LaRose, and Sam Keith that demonstrate the gothic qualities of Batman, from the elongated ears to the draping of the cape, bringing forth the true nightmare of the shadow of the bat. And most importantly, we get to see a fan favorite quality of the Dark Knight, him being human. With these failures from Bane breaking his back to having to give up the mantle, in the end he overcomes these trials and tribulations, making him a better hero. If you haven't read Batman Nightfall, I recommend you picking up the Batman Nightfall omnibus which is out in stores April 11th. It is definitely something you should have in your Batman collection because it is an important piece of Batman's history. Thanks for checking out this video, and I will see you next time when we talk about more of DC Comics' amazing history. Remember, it's all about peace, love, and Batman.